when you do that depth of recognition, it helps you to better prioritize needs. Mm. Needs needs can often be hidden. Yeah. And and what connects us is our commonalities of basic human needs. Mm. That's something that's been resonating with me the last year a lot, especially as our community has gone through not just structural changes, but, but physical changes as well. I think right. I mentioned that we moved into our new space and restoration plaza earlier this year in January. We started the first part of the school year off without a home. Wow. Uh, we were teaching outside and in public libraries and in recreation centers. And it was because we, we sold our building in order to, to make structural changes that were beneficial oh, wow. to our community, like raising staff salaries and providing stronger programming for our young people. And wow. we, we had put a contract on a building that fell through right before mm. the start of the school year because the physical space was not approved. The certificate of occupancy wasn't approved. And so mm. I watched this community stay connected with one another, even as a, as a, as a commu- school community, being without a home is tra- is, can be traumatizing. And I watched them pull together in order to prioritize needs deeply Mm. to care for one another so that we could stick together Mm. Mm -hmm. and this community did that it was amazing to watch this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg